As the city continues to bounce back from the pandemic, it turns out small businesses are actually booming. That's according to city data, which reveals thousands of new restaurants as part of the trend. Derek Waller reports that includes a viral fried chicken spot in Chinatown. So this is our chili oil. We make an herb duck fat. That special sauce is how former fine dining chef Eric Wong made his pandemic pivot. I was a sous chef at 11 Madison Park, and I left in January 2020 to try to open my own fine dining restaurant. Rough, rough timing. With restaurants closed, Wong started a delivery fried chicken business out of his uncle's Chinese restaurant kitchen in Queens, even delivering the meals himself and going viral with a 10,000 person wait list. It became way more successful than I ever intended it to be. Now he operates two restaurants, including this location that just opened a few days ago in Chinatown. To reconnect our story to Chinatown, the story of Chinese American immigration is, is really meaningful. And you know, Pecking House is not alone. I actually spoke with city officials who tell me there's been an influx of small businesses calling New York City home and more specifically Chinatown since the end of the pandemic. So over the past two years, over 400 new businesses have started in Chinatown and Two Bridges, helping to create almost 3,000 jobs. Melissa Pumphrey with New York City's Economic Development Corporation tells me post pandemic with close to 20% of Manhattan offices still empty, it turns out more New Yorkers than ever are choosing to be their own boss. Over 55,000 new small businesses have started during this mayoral administration. We see a lot of people starting businesses out of their own homes, um, and, but we also see, for example, over 5,000 new restaurants. Right, it's already cooked, so we're just looking to make it hot. Pecking House employs about 25 people, where the chicken is extra crispy because it's fried twice. It's going to be hot. A recipe for success in Chinatown. Derek Waller, CBS News, New York.